Aw, oh, man. We're invading without Ezreal. This feels like it's get, just going to backfire. Ooh, I got the E on him. Nice. First blood on the Vilkaz. That's a good champ to get first blood. Dude, he's going to kill this Braum. Oh my gosh. I was trying to get the stun. Okay, well, it's a good thing we got first blood because... Our ADC is dying 1v2. Rip. Our Velkaz is master, so that's a good person to get first blood on. Our jungler has bad smites. Uh-oh. Scion has no info and Velkaz has no info. That Jace gets a lot of kills per game, though. 11.2. That guy's going to be super aggressive. He's going to Q these, so I'm just going to stay away. That's a very interesting looking Scion skin. Almost kind of looks like Woad, like the Woad King. The Woe Darius skin. Oh, really good buffer. Very nice. That buffer was so clutch. Gonna stay away from his passive. It is nice to try to kill it though. Before he chunks out my entire wave. Okay, he's gonna TV back. We got enough for call, so I'm gonna do the same. I don't think I'll miss cannon. Cannon's not getting focused at all, thankfully. Nice, dude. Solo killing Jace. Well played. And he's got a Dark Seal. Oh, here comes the proxy. I need to get my wave right now. Man, this takes me back to last season when so many people were doing that Scion strat. The Phase Rush AD proxy Scion. I haven't played versus that in a while. I don't want to lose a wave though here. Yeah, it's not worth. The thing that's really good about this is I have fleet, conditioning, and overgrowth. So I'm going to scale out of control. Like, Proxy's really good for me. He doesn't have ulti. I'm going to wait till he pops phase rush to use my Q. This way we can just secure the kill for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. He's going to kill me. Yep. Man, I have nothing I can do there. I didn't have a fleet proc ready. But hey, we reset his gold, so not bad. Actually, oh dang, I can't refund. I kind of wanted early boots here. Oh, true. I didn't paw. I wonder if that would have saved. He was dishing out some pretty good damage. I don't know. If they do not stop me, they he liked the wailing in the music. 
Yeah, that was a Genshin Impact. Some of the Genshin songs go pretty hard. Man, I don't want to let him get through for the proxy here, but I don't really have a choice. Wow, he ults my E? Dude is terrified. He missed out on a plating too. Super good for me. Yeah. I need to get this wave first, dude. That's why I'm not letting this wave crash, because I might have to run over and help here. She's dying for the grib. Hopefully. She might actually live. Oh man, I'm so bad in this fight because I just have nothing. Dang, wow. I don't know what we can do differently there. Maybe not ulti, but I thought we had the kill on her if I ulti. Urgot's always kind of bad in these early grub fights because you're just like so slow. You don't have your W toggle. It's like you're really good for your ulti and and your E. But like everything else is pretty lackluster. It's all good though. We're just scaling this game. Should be really strong mid game. I'm trying to think what I want to go for build. Bork is looking kind of bad here, sadly. I always consider Bork when I'm versus Scion, but it kind of looks bad against the rest of their team. Oh yeah, he's going Lethality Scion. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to shred him then. We don't even need Bork. Dude, that scream. He's going to Q again. Almost got out of it. Dang, he's actually going to kill me. Almost out of fleet proc ready. Uh, let me thank you. Tabbies are going to be really good. He was not expecting that E. Dude, Scion passive does so much, especially AD. It's actually crazy how much damage that does. I think Scion passive is one of the coolest passives in the game. Such a unique one. Oh wow, I was looking for the TP, I didn't even see it. I want to wait until I have enough for Cleaver anyway. Let's just grab a fleet, uh, fleet proc real quick. Does he have ulti? Okay, nice. That was really sketchy. It 
It's been a while since I've played versus Strat, man. This is kind of scary. It's got me on my toes. Jungle probably is going to be topside. I should get out of here. The grub's being up. Yeah, there she is. Trying to heal up a little bit so we can fight. Oh, you gotta block that, dude. I mean, I guess he dies if he blocks. Alright, well, we got... Did we get two of the grubs? Scion got one of them? Did he get it with his E before he ulted? Okay, I'm actually going to go Swifties here. Tabbies are so good this game, but I have enough for Swifties. I really want to upgrade boots on this back. Meanwhile, Kha'Zix passive did 1,200 damage last game. Yeah, that was like a 30-minute game, too. One Scion passive has out damaged every Kha'Zix passive from last game. Oh wow, he's actually going mid here. I'm gonna go for tower then. Even if he gets a kill, I think I'm gonna get more. And their Jace doesn't have teleport. So this should just be free towers. Free plates, I'm in. Oh yeah, he does have Gifts Blade. I wonder if he's going to go like full lethality or just a little bit. Either way, this is so good. And I get my call cash in soon. Well, yeah, he's got straight at Dirk, so he's going to go full with Audi, I guess. See if he goes for a ward. Dude, he is fast. 448. He got Swifties, too. Well, it's a good thing I went Swifties. We're going to need him. Hopefully my team can get him. I'm going to go cash my call. If they get him, they get him. If they don't, it's fine. Wow, they got him early. Wait, Ezreal died to his passive? I don't think he was looking. Oh my gosh, he's raging now. Our Ezreal said he was a challenger smurf, but he's two and six. We'll carry the challenger smurf. When people say that, I usually don't believe them, but I actually kind of do believe this guy. a bad time to open professor dude i'm on so much gold i hope we can just get this and get out we need some rotations guys oh man i'm not gonna be able to move for a while here crap my flash is down Holy moly, dude. I played that the best I could, though. Okay, nice. Vilkaz gets a kill, at least. Oh, 
Holebreaker is going to be nice here. We need speed. I might honestly go Dead Man's third this game. Because I think speed is just so value. But yeah, to be fair, this guy does have a... What was it? 88% win rate. I think that's just on Ezreal, though. I don't know if that's overall. 88% win rate in a Masters game, though. Very well could be Chow. He's having a rough game if he is a Chow player, though. Beautiful snipe, dude. He's worth another shutdown, too. I feel like I just shut him down. I guess I should have went mid. Nice. That's insane snipe right now. I need that gold. I could go for the tier 2 pressure, but I'm also thinking I might want to TP. I feel like I'm going to have to TP because their team is spawning and they're going to fight here maybe. Alright, TP in. I cannot move at all. Rest in peace. Rest in CC. I don't even, I don't know if there's an angle to even e-buffer there. Wow, that Belveth E on the Scion, that shreds him. Dude, I think it's so cool how Belveth can jump over walls only when she's in her form. I think it would be cool if Urgot had something something like that with his E. Like, I don't know how you could do that, though. Maybe, like, after you get a kill, you can, like, E over walls for the next 30 seconds or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think just eing over walls would be cool in general, but maybe it would be too broken. So if they could like find a specific timing for it. Dang, that was a really good flash by Janna. I was gonna ult here if she got knocked up. Yeah, we wanna fight Drag. I'm trying to give this CS to Ez. You get one charge per R snipe slash kill to use later. That would be cool. It's like charges. Also make R snipe a little bit more rewarding. I think that'd be sick. He's going to try to ulti out. Nice. We nuke him too fast. Oh my god, that was such a good fear. Right on there, Kaisa. Dang, if only Baron was up. 20 seconds. I guess we could, though. It's going to maybe be a little bit risky. I hope we do this fast. We have Velkaz. Velkaz, Velveth, Urgot. Pretty good Baron comp. I like to hold down target champions only so I can circle around Baron like really fast. Because then you can like click through the Baron. Then you just get all your shotgun damage off. I need to go deal with this Scion. Ooh, can he kill that? If he had ulti. Has been 
Oh my god, that one chicken. Okay, you're dying for that. You're getting shockened. Unreal, man. Chickens these days. Wait, they still had the Rift Herald? Holy moly. They must have been holding on to that for last second. I feel like they got that super long ago. I don't even need a snipe. My god. That bill vet damage is insane. Look at her build, man. Terminus and Kraken Slayer. She has over three attacks per second. Wow, max range E. I need my E to be up now, dude. Or I need to wait for my E, rather. Nothing they can do against that combo. I love it. Oh my gosh, am I dead? I could TB back in. I don't know if I should, though. Good thing there was a minion wave. Oh yeah, I was going to go dead man's over hole breaker. Honestly, it's kind of fine we messed that up. I need to get armor, though, I think, more than ruby crystal. They're 80 champions. Even though they're kind of behind, they're really strong. I guess because I don't have much armor. I don't know if I should teleport. I feel like my team wants to kind of back out soon. Ooh, nice. Ezreal does seem pretty good mechanically, though. I think he just had a bad early game. Dude, I've been saying for a while, I don't think challenger players can, like, smurf in Masters. Like, D1 Masters, I don't think they can, like, completely smurf the game. I think they can, like, consistently play good. And, like, they're going to climb eventually. But you can't really, like, completely take over the game. Get in the grinder, dude. Holy moly. That stair shield is huge. 1.3k. I'm going to save this blast gun in case I need to run. I think they're scared to go for me, though, man. If I do this and then sell D-Blade, we should have enough. And then I can just TP on Drag. Honestly, I might need to go top lane if this guy tries to push. We're going to be so fast with Deadmans, though. Deadmans and Swifties and Hullbreaker speed. 461 out of combat movement speed. You think it depends on the challenger player? Blippo absolutely smurfs and masters. Yeah, that's true. If it's a pro player, those guys are capable of getting like top 10 though, and like rank one. I guess I was thinking like 600 LP chow. I don't have a good TP ward. Gonna have to red tap. Dude, I don't know. This Ezreal's sketchy. 
This guy should not be flaming the Belveth. We're trying to carry him. She's on our red buff, right? I want to fight here. My team is scared. got the fancy feet come on man I'm full speed build there we go I was gonna say I, I want to be chasing but my build is made for chasing yeah we just barren good stuff my Q did so much damage on them that two-man Q Last item will go Jack Show. Get some MR for the Lilia. That Lilia is actually Giga farmed. Yeah, that's true though. Definitely depends on the challenger player. Yeah, I think most challenger players, I guess like low challenger. I feel like I have seen them struggle in master games before. But, like, consistently over, like, a hundred games, they'll climb. But, like, they have the chance to struggle. If you put a challenger player in, like, an emerald game, it's, like, 95% chance they won't struggle. If you put them in, like, gold or silver, it's, like, 100% chance they won't have a struggle game. People's laning phase and like mechanics have gotten better these days though. At least that's how it used to be. I don't know if it would still be like that. I still got my Starak shield. Nice, dude. That was some good stuff. That was actually a really fun match. I really like that speed build, man. I like the Deadman Swifty combo with Fleet. It's so fun being fast on Urgot. I think Bilbeth played really well. Nice, S-plus for that game, too. Belkos played really good, too. And he got the first blood. Ezreal still put up a lot of damage, too. Wow, yeah, I had 7,000 fleet heals. When you have so much speed, you also stack up fleet so much faster. So you get way more heals. That's another thing I've noticed. 